In this video demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the process of adding, uploading, editing, and inserting an image on your Joomla website using the ARC Media Manager. So here's a test article, and I'm going to place my cursor where I want the image to show up. The image is currently not on the website at all, and it is larger than it should be for the article. First thing I want to do is place the cursor as I've demonstrated and then click the image button. That's going to give us a pop-up of the ARC Media Manager Pro, which is very close to the ARC Media Manager. The main difference is the ability to edit, flip, rotate, crop, and resize the images. So here's how it looks resized on sort of a tablet-sized portfolio. Um, so here we're going to go into a folder and double click on that. And I've got three guitars here. Now if I wanted to create a new folder, I simply click the new folder button and it allows me to create a subfolder. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just upload. And I can either drag and drop or I can add files by searching through the Windows Explorer or the Mac Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and choose this headstock image and then start the upload. When it's completed, it places it beneath inside the folder. And then as you can see here, when I hover, I've got this edit view. That then opens up a pop-up dialog window where you can see the size of the headstock. It's going to be far too large for a um, article image. However, it could be nice for a light box blow up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it and I can choose from a preset that I can create in the configuration. Um, right now it's 423 by 600. So for the, the preview piece, I probably want it to be more like 300 tall, um, which I'm just holding down the shift key to be able to achieve this resize and I'm doing it from an angle. When I'm done, I just click Apply, and it has now resized it. Now, let's say that it needed to be rotated. I could click 90 degrees left, 90 degrees right, or upside down. So it pretty much gives you the entire thing. Or if I needed to flip it um, this way or that way, it gives me that option, which is wonderful. Finally, I could crop it if I was unhappy with the size of it. Now, if I were using the Lightbox feature, which is here, what I would likely do is go ahead and leave it a little bit larger of an image, and then inside of the styles, I would say width 250 pixels. That way, when I click on it from the Lightbox, it would blow up the larger image that I had originally. So we'll go ahead and turn this off for now. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to float it left and have a margin right of 5 pixels. And I'm going to use the align up here for this. And then, of course, you always want to have your title and description for accessibility purposes. Once you're done doing all of your edits in this wonderful little portal, just click Insert into Content. Oops, forgot to save my changes. So you apply the resize and then you save your change. Then we can insert into content. And there you go, you get a float left, margin right. Let's just take a quick look at the code here. And you can see it's very clean. My image alt, my image ID is nothing, the source, the style, the title. Very clean, very beautiful. So that concludes the tutorial of how to upload, resize, crop, flip, rotate an image, and then insert it into your content.